Lee Swanson, L-E-E-S-W-A-N-S-O-N, spokesperson, San Diego Fire Rescue. What can you tell us up to this point? Uh, fire call came in about 6.15. We got here, there's heavy smoke and fire from the third floor apartment, and uh, the fire was confined to that apartment. It took about 20 minutes to knock it down. There were three people we assessed for injuries. Uh, nobody was transported. One woman had to be uh, rescued from the third floor balcony up there. She couldn't get out on her own, uh, but she was not injured. And uh, fire is out, investigators are here now. I don't know a cause yet. They say, uh, neighbors said there was an explosion of some sort. Like, can you kind of go into detail about that? I've heard that too, but I, I, you know, that's about all I know about it. What do you know about the people that were sort of forced out of their home? Can you tell us about that? We've called the Red Cross to help with uh, with anybody who's displaced. We don't have a count yet on how many people that might be, but the fire is pretty much confined to that one apartment. There's a little bit of smoke damage on the second floor. We heard that there was some kind of a, a drug making next door. What 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 is that? That I don't know yet because like the investigators just got here. So how I, many people were displaced? I don't have a count. I mean, there were there were I believe three people. I believe there were three people in that unit, um, but throughout, the, if there's anybody in the, else in the building because of smoke damage or whatever, then we're going to have to be displaced or relocated. I don't know. So only three people uh, are homeless after this. Anyone else can go back? To my knowledge, I don't have an accurate count yet. Gotcha. There's a lot of people here with animals and a lot of children. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we didn't evacuate the building. We. You know, some people came out on their own, other people sheltered in place, and since it was confined to that one unit, they were okay to do that. Um, obviously, you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of concern, but, uh, but there's, uh, other than that one unit, there's minimal damage in the building. So what's next, Lee? Obviously, this is a big deal because it affects a lot of people. What's next for you guys? How long will you guys be out here? Uh, the investigators will be here for a while. We we are uh, waiting for Red Cross, and uh, we're pretty much mopping things up. We're, we're not going to be here too much longer. Now, is there a reason why that woman was uh, we had to use a ladder to bring her out and pick up the smoke at her door? I believe so. Yeah, she uh, she said she couldn't get out through through the hallway. Uh, we also heard that she was deaf. I don't know that.